Hi, everybody. So, um, so family legend tells it that I was conceived in the back of a 1970 Triumph TR6. And I mention this seemingly irrelevant fact because it'll illustrate the point that we have a, a car-loving family. So I was raised in a very car-loving family. My dad, or my grandfather, actually started the family dealership in 1931. My dad worked there. My sister and I worked there. So we love cars. I can talk cars with my dad until my mom's ready to scream. So when my dad mentioned that he was thinking about selling his 1999 Jetta turbo diesel with only 169,000 miles on it, I mean, that's nothing, I totally paid attention because I've kind of gotten this habit of collecting cars. And I, I did hesitate for a little bit because just before that point, somebody had, a situation happened that kind of made me think that maybe my collection was kind of turning into more of a, a hoarding situation. <laughs> Um, we had, uh, had a dinner party. My boyfriend and I had uh, a couple over that we were good friends with but had never been to my house. So we told them the directions and how to get there, gave them the address. And, and I described the house to them. It's a weird old, um, like old 200-year-old mill, so it's kind of four stories as tall and skinny. And we saw them pull in. You know, we could see the headlights coming. And, and then they called us from the car and said, where do you want us to park? And, and we, I, Tim said, just park anywhere. It's no big deal. And they said, well, we don't want to block anyone in. And he said, but we're, it's only the four of us. We're all staying for dinner. And they said, oh, isn't it an apartment complex? So I realized that <laughs> it's possible I had too many cars at this point. So, and none of them, by the way, were younger than 10 years or had less than 100,000 miles under their timing belt. So, um, but nevertheless, we bought the car. And I bought the car. And it sat in the drive. I brought it up from Maryland. My parents live in Maryland. Drove it up to our road trip, no problem not the road trip we're going to discuss. And um, it sat in my driveway for a little while before I had a chance to register it. And, and in that time period, my, my friends and I decided we were going to plan a girls' weekend. And we thought the best destination would be back down to the eastern shore of Maryland. We could crack crabs and have cocktails, go sailing. It was going to be great. And I thought, what fun if I brought the old Jetta back to visit my dad. I could have a little visit. It's like his baby. So we packed the car up. We put all the essentials in wine, beer, more wine, and, um, and, and we started off. And, and everything was going great. Now, if, for those women in here and men that may know, a ladies' weekend road trip, you don't get a lot of, there's not a lot of silence in the car on the way down. So in my defense, I couldn't really get a word in edgewise when the check engine and the battery lights started kind of flashing. So I didn't really think to mention it. Um, and, and we, you know, the car was still cruising. We were going about 70. We were on the highway. And so everything seemed to be fine. It was performing fine. No need to panic. It wasn't until kind of a diminutive elderly lady in like a Dodge Conquest, I think, passed us in the, in the right lane when we realized we probably weren't going 70 and, and the uh, gauges were actually frozen. So, so the car was kind of slowing down. <laughs> But we persevered. We kept going. And, and it wasn't until the car started bucking and the wiper blades, <laughs> did I mention it? It started raining. The wiper blades kind of froze mid-swipe. And at that point, we kind of admitted defeat, and we pulled over. I made two phone calls, one to AAA and one to my dad. Did I mention I paid a dollar for the car? <laughs> OK, so we called dad, and, and he said he would be on his way. Now, AAA had a tougher time. They couldn't seem to figure out exactly where we were located and kept wanting a cross street. And they were, the operator was confused when I said, we're on a highway. There isn't a cross street. She also said it was not AAA policy for us to leave the vehicle, which we needed to do in order to find the closest mile marker. So in any event, we finally passed the phone around enough times that she figured out where we were. Needless to say, my dad got there before the tow truck. But in the meantime, we had some time to kill. And we had a case of beer. <laughs> It was warm, um, but it was a case of beer. So what we didn't have was an opener. So um, we kind of looked all around the car and unpacked all of our bags. And you know, we looked in the trunk. We, we, we looked where the toolkit is. We kind of took apart the toolkit. There was nothing good there. Glove box, nothing good. We found this weird glass breakage thing that my dad had in there for safety in case the car plunged into a body of water and we couldn't roll the windows down or something like that. But, we didn't find an opener. So I finally popped the hood. 
And I took a look at the hood latch, and it looked just sturdy enough and just the right shape and size. So <laughs> we thought we'd go for it. So I took a bottle of warm Corona and kind of just placed it so the cap was just over the hood latch, and I kind of braced myself and pulled hard. And golden warm Corona sprayed all over me, all over the windshield, and all over the engine compartment, and actually began steaming a bit. <laughs> but we still had a half a bottle left, so we did this two more times until we all had a beer. It was about the third time when I noticed the state trooper was passing us, and, and I knew he was going to make a U-turn to come to our rescue. So we were never so relieved to see my dad in his shiny new Jetta Turbo Diesel pull up, and we were very happy to let him deal with the trooper while we all got back in the car and finished off our beers. <laughs> Tow truck came, car made it. It was the alternator, no big deal. Still ran for quite a bit more, but I, I will say this situation did kind of wake me up to the fact that perhaps I had a car collecting problem I'm pleased to say I now I'm down to two cars, one of which is brand new and should keep me and my girlfriends out of trouble at least for 100,000 miles or so. <laughs> Thank you.